Welcome to the Industrial LASX tutorial video series. Today we will be talking about how to update and changes for LASX version 5. The first thing we need to do to update our software to LASX version 5 is to uninstall LASX version 3. In this case, I need to uninstall both LASX and my Leica camera drivers. The final step is to restart your computer. After restarting my computer, I can open my LASX5 installer files. From here, we're going to run the setup application as administrator. Here, we'll click Next, accept the license agreement. Here, we can check this box if we're only trying to update our camera drivers, but in this case, we'll leave it unchecked to do the full installation. Here, we can check if we're installing Cleanliness Expert or Steel Expert softwares. In this case, I will leave them unchecked. We want to keep both of these boxes checked for the remote analytics and the like updater. On this window, I recommend unchecking both boxes as we will do our firmware update later on in the process. From here, we will continue to advance the windows with the next yes and OK buttons. If you don't uncheck the firmware update box from before, you can simply close this window and we can update the firmware at the end. From here, we hit next twice. The software then detects which camera drivers are already installed on the computer. You can click on each camera driver to see the full list of cameras that driver covers. For my demo computer, I'm going to check all of the drivers. As the installer finishes, I'm going to hit next to continue through the windows and finally restart my computer at the end. Now that my computer is fully restarted, I'm gonna open up my hardware configurator. From here, I'm gonna to go to my hardware setup. I'm gonna confirm that everything looks correct for my current microscope system. In this case, I'm using our DVM6 demo. From here, we're gonna to go to our firmware updater as I mentioned during the installation process and we're going to click Update All Outdated. On this computer, all of my firmware has been updated, um, but you would simply update, and these would all turn to green lights when you're completed. Now that we've gone over the process to update to LASX version 5, let's talk about some of the changes that have happened with this version. First, I want to talk about an update to the recommended computer specs, with a faster processor and more RAM being the major changes. Next up, we have a number of changes and improvements to the software. First, we have a refresher to the UI designed for easier workflows and better performance with image handling. I'll cover these UI's changes in depth shortly. Two, enhanced image processing and stitching for compound microscopes. Three, enhancements to our measurement tool. And finally, our Libs customers have extensions to our top matches. Let's dive into the changes for our UI in LASX 5. The majority of the changes for version 5 are relocations of our pop-out menus from the right hand of the screen from version 3. I've highlighted each pop-out menu and where they move so you can quickly and easily find the tool you are looking for. Now that we've covered the changes of our pop-out menus, I wanted to go through a couple of additional changes in how certain buttons work in the software. The first change I wanted to talk about is our uh, 3D viewer. So I'm selected right now on a multi-focus image. Up in the top right-hand corner of the screen is our 3D surface view. 
selecting that will convert to our um, 3D service view. Everything inside the 3D service view is the same as in LASX version 3. Um, the one change here is how to go back to the regular view. You can do this in two ways. The first by clicking the play button in the bottom left corner, that'll pop up a live image screen. Or if you want to go back to viewing your multifocus image, just not in the 3D view, we can simply click our 3D surface view button, the same one we did to enable this mode to disable it. From there, I'm going to go to a live image and show you the changes to our uh, region of interest tool. So just like before in LASX version 3, we can simply right click and drag a box on the screen to drag a region of interest. We can also use predefined regions of interest and we can save customizable sized regions of interest through our save ROIs and load ROIs tool. The one change from this that can be a little bit confusing is now that this ROI is selected to get rid of it, I simply click this trash can up at the top that says delete ROI. The final change in behavior for LASX version 5 versus version 3 is for the picture in picture view. So here we simply just click this plus button on the right side of the screen to add additional views. They're automatically linked together, which is that chain feature from LASX version 3. And to close them, we simply just click the X in the top right corner of each view. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your local Leica representative.